All right, squeeze your lemons, ladies. This place is a lot messier than the Bally World, isn't it though? <laughs> Actually, this is the first first job lot I had really. I've been here about 16 years. You know, I come here pretty young. And then the boss said to me, "You look like you got maker's hands." I know when you tell people I make bad issues, they laugh at you, thinking like it's a little girly job and that, but you need big men doing this job, you know? I was very, very excited to get my first pair of point shoes and they were all shiny and hard and uh, I didn't know what to do to soften them or anything and I put them on and I felt something but in the excitement I, I just didn't want to remove them and um, next thing the, the blood was coming through the shoe there was a spot of red and it had come right right through the shoe um, so I'd, I ruined my first pair, pair of point shoes because I had this big red blood mark on them. <laughs> One, two, we extend front, back, circle, make sure you hold it, put the heel down, back on it, clear, back on it, close, without changing legs, just clear on it, back onto the left leg, two, See, I always make my shoe as if I finish it, you know what I mean, right like square from there. I actually go for the comfortable of the ballerina, because it's common sense, you know, if you go like that on your toe and you've got a thing there and it's like sharp, they're going to get like a cut there, you know, right there and that. So I make it a little bit soft, so when they're going like that, it's, it's nice and soft, you know, for them to... good as well you know from uh, I've just had a holiday but you see all the lumps and that from making shoes over the years you know I know ballerinas get dodgy feet don't they 
So I'll get dodgy hands for making the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> get trained into a certain way of thinking and, and it just becomes your reality and it's, it's what you know, it's all you know. So get those bodies in, lock and grow. Ah. I was just very quiet and withdrawn. Dancing then became very important for me because it was my only form of expression. We just trained for hours and hours and hours. Every morning you feel a bit a bit stiff, there's always something. They said, well, we're going to break you to make you. You will be in pain every day and you've just got to get used to it and that's what this job is about. It just becomes part of the routine and you, and you do become like a little robot in a sense and you just do what you're supposed to do. thought about quitting every day. <laughs> Somehow that obsession, it is an obsession, you become totally obsessed with dance and obsessed with ballet and that somehow keeps you there despite all the negatives and there is that hope that you will get that opportunity for self-expression eventually. I wanted to let you know that you have been an initial part of my career and I honestly don't think I would have been able to dance the way I have if it weren't for you and your great shoes. Thank you and thank you for doing a wonderful part of my career. I plan to wear them until my day I retire. <laughs> that takes quite a few years of really finding the right shoe.